One of the most annoying things about these type of small hydraulic presses is the way the ram assembly moves around when you're trying to use it. This hydraulic press has been modified with the addition of four of these spring-loaded plugs. They stop the assembly from moving around and return it to its original position every time in both left and right and back and forward directions. So let's take a look now at exactly how this was done. First you'll need to remove the ram crossbar assembly. Some holes for half 13 thread will have to be inserted here and on this side approximately here. Also we'll need holes 1024 thread holes inserted here and here and likewise on the opposite side they will be holding this piece. This indicates the position of the holes that you've already drilled and threaded and there'll be a hole in here for a, uh, a half inch spring loaded plug. And that will be a half 13 thread as well and that would apply to both sides. You're going to have one of these on both sides. Now let's take a look how the plugs are designed. This plug was made from a piece of half inch drill rod. The hole in the end is 3 8 and about 650 thousandths deep. The nut is made from one nut cut in half. That's how we got it so skinny, but perhaps you can find one that's already done and you won't need to do that. The, uh, this end was uh, produced on the mill, but if you don't have a mill to do that, you could actually use something just like this, a standard bolt. So it's not really necessary to be manufacturing this end on it. Uh, inside the hole on the end of this is a small spring which pushes, pushes against this brass plug which is a 3 8 brass plug with a, a, a smaller end which fits uh, into the spring. And that's how your, uh, your plug assembly is made. So we'll just take another quick look at uh, the finished assembly and uh, how it's put together. And this definitely improves the stability of the RAM position and it makes it easier to use.